Hi guys and welcome to Studio One with me Gregor. So today I want to show you a very handy keyboard shortcut when editing automations that you probably not have noticed before, but it's super, super good if you want to accelerate your workflow, particularly when applying um, automations to certain events or sections. Let's check it out. So we're back with one of my productions, which we already talked about last time. It's called Fire and Blood from a band called V2A that I've done in 2018. And I want to show you uh, an example where I was really trying to do like a section or event based automation. Um, and it would have taken me for hours uh, if I would have done that without the keyboard shortcut create ranges on tracks. So what am I talking about here? Well, you see these uh, crash symbol events here throughout the entire track, kind of occurring almost every four bars or so. They are supposed to give that track this kind of drive. And um, what I wanted to do is every time that this crash symbol hits, I wanted to automate the drum bus. This folder track is at the same time a bus channel upwards, right, by maybe 2 dB or so. So every time the crash event occurs, there's like a boost in volume for the entire drums, um, which makes the crash symbol sound a lot more impactful. And it also shifts the focus of the listener a bit more towards this instrument group. But doing this by hand, you know, um, clicking on the crash here, and then right clicking, adding automation, and then selecting each of them with the range tool like that, uh, holding down shift is something you can do, but would take an unnecessary amount of time. So what you can do instead is use create ranges on tracks, which is assigned by default to shift and R. If you already assigned this to something else, then just go to the keyboard shortcuts, search create ranges on tracks, and there you're going to find it shift and R. Now I would also encourage you to use Option and A on a Mac or Alt and A on a Windows PC, which is show current parameter, very useful to add automations even faster rather than right clicking every time. Let me show you this. So we're gonna select the drum bus over here. We're gonna touch the volume fader, which is what we wanna automate up every time the crash symbol hits. And then instead of right clicking and going to edit automation, I just hit Option and A instead. Seems to save only a fraction of a second or so, but um, you cannot start getting efficient early enough. And maybe that's the German in me, but I like, you know, sparing uh, these kinds of extra steps. So literally just clicked on the volume fader right here and hit option and A. Could have also done panning uh, or any other parameters that I want. And now I'm gonna select all of my crash symbols that you see here on track seven and hit the other keyboard shortcut, which is also in the title of this video, create ranges on tracks. So shift and R, and you see that Studio One has created these blue ranges on each and every event for me, which is absolutely perfect because now I can go to any other track that I want. So for example, this drum bus here and navigate my mouse to the upper track area. And you see that my um, selection tool is turning into the bracket tool for automations. And now watch what happens as I'm um, dragging it up. Isn't that awesome? You see that these volume automation points are being added um, exactly at the positions where these crash symbols are, right? So that is super, super handy. And uh, right now we're amplifying everything by uh, I think plus 4 dB or so, that's a little bit much. So let's go maybe 1.6 dB instead and uh, give that a listen, especially in this section over here. And pay attention how the crash symbol and the entire drum bus being louder for a sec is really shifting your attention, but not in a way that seems like, um, you know, a bit overdone where you're like, oh, you're obviously raising the volume on your bus here. and compared especially here with and without. I think that makes a lot more impact with that subtle volume automation on the drums. So definitely try it out. Uh, create ranges on tracks allows you to do section and event based automation so much faster than you would normally be able to do it, especially when you have a lot of small scattered events around the entire arrangement. And also keep in mind that this doesn't just work with volume automations, panning automations, but also with plugin automations and any other automation you can think of.
So I hope you find this trick helpful. Let me know how it goes in your workflow in the comments.